All right, just going to do a video biblically and scripturally refuting Billy Graham's ecumenism and basically how his ecumenical ideology is completely in contrast with what, with what Jesus Christ said and with what the Apostle John said in their writings. So I'm going to show a clip here of Billy Graham. This is an interview with Robert Schuller back in 1997 where Billy Graham flat out denies salvation by Christ alone. Okay, here's the clip. Watch it for yourself. I think everybody that, that loves Christ or knows Christ, whether they're conscious of it or not, they're members of the body of Christ. And that's what God is doing today. He's calling people for, out of the, the world for his name, whether they come from the Muslim world or the Buddhist world or the Christian world or the non-believing world. Uh, they are members of the body of Christ because they've been called by God. They may not even know the name of Jesus, but uh, they know in their heart that they need something that they don't have, and they turn to the only light that they have, and I think that they are saved, and that they're going to be with us in heaven. This is fantastic. And I'm so thrilled to hear you say that. There is a wideness in God's mercy. Yeah, if you thought that was bad, get a little of this. This next clip I'm going to play. So... And also, I want to point something out. Notice how at the end of the last one, uh, Schuler said, oh, there's a wideness of God's mercy. I'm going to cover that uh, after I play this clip. But notice how uh, he just, he just, oh, it's amazing you think that way. Yeah, because, you know, it's end times apostasy. But this next clip that, that of, uh, of Billy Graham, is an interview with Larry King. Watch as he's asked, do Muslims, Mormons, Jews, and Catholics today go to hell? And Billy Graham says, basically, I don't know. I'm not, I can't judge them. So watch this. But what about those faiths, the Mormons and the others that you mentioned, believe in Christ? They believe they will meet Christ. What about those like the Jews, the Muslims, who don't believe as That's you believe? That's in God's hands. I can't be the judge. You don't judge them? No. No, I How do you don't feel you're going to hell. And you're, oh, I don't. How do you feel when you see a lot of these strong Christian leaders go on television and say, you are condemned, you will live in hell if you do not except Jesus Christ. And they, they are forceful and judgmental. Well, uh, they have a right to say that. And they are, they are true to a certain extent, but I don't, that's not my calling. My calling is to preach the love of God and the forgiveness of God and the fact that he does forgive us. That's what the cross is all about, what the resurrection is all about. That's the gospel. Well, the thing is, is that the Word of God judges them. The Word of God judges Mormons, Jews, Muslims, and Catholics because Mormonism, Judaism, Islam, and Catholicism are all false religions. It's that simple. And Mormonism and Islam are all daughters of the harlot of Roman Catholicism, which is Mystery of Babylon in Revelation 17 18. But notice how he says, oh, I, I can't judge them. I don't know. And then notice the last clip where Shula said there's a wideness of God's mercy. Hmm. Let's see about that. Is there a wideness to God's mercy? Well, let's see and a wideness of salvation. Let's see uh, if Jesus Christ lines up with Robert Schuller. Okay, Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 to 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be, few there be that find it. So you got Robert Schuller and Billy Graham saying that there's a wideness, there's a wideness to God's mercy, but that Jesus Christ says that the gate is narrow, the way is the way is narrow, not wide. In fact, wide is the way that leads to destruction. So, you got Robert Schuller verse, you got Robert Schuller and, Bill, and Billy Graham contradicting Jesus Christ blatantly and openly like that. And another scripture I want to use to also refute a lot of this ecumenical, uh, New World Order, Illuminati, Jesuit agenda is uh, 1 John chapter 5, verses 10 down to verse 12. It says, make sure things on. It says, uh, 1 John chapter 5, verse 10 to 12, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record uh, uh, that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. So I absolutely can, you know, judge uh, Jews, Muslims, Mormons, and Catholics because they don't have the Son of God. Therefore, they do not they, they do not have life according to the standards of Scripture. So the Word of God, the Apostle John, in that passage there judges them, and Jesus Christ judges them too in Matthew chapter three or sorry, Matthew chapter seven, verse thirteen to fifteen.
sorry, 13 to 14, I got the thing mixed up. I have to get this out there just to show this is the kind of end times ecumenical apostasy that we see the, all the big name preachers getting themselves into. So I want to show you guys that. So yeah, Billy Graham's ecumenical apostasy refuted scripturally and biblically and doctrinally basically. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.